What's up? This is DJ Scratch Bastard, and you're checking out Past the Mic TV. I first started DJing when I was 15 years old in my basement. Uh, I was just really into hip hop, wrote my raps, made my little beats and stuff, and I was the most interested in DJing, so I kept going down that path, thankfully. My mom saw that I took an interest to it, and she saw advertisements for a DJ battle downtown, and uh, I, I, she convinced me to go in it, and I placed third, and the next year I won it, and then I just kept building off of that, kind of making my name through battling and stuff, moving into clubs, uh, production, and, uh, and everything else. DJing and producing kind of go hand in hand. As a DJ, you, you sit there, you play records over and over again, you analyze them, you know their bar structure, you know the sounds that you like to hear when you're out and what sounds good loud. I, I'd always been interested in making beats ever since ever since I started DJing, and now I'm making beats probably 50% of the time. I love doing it. It's, it's a nice alternative to always being out in the club and, you know same same kind of faces you get to sit at home and perfect something and and have something that that lasts forever you know what i mean so. you know if, if i can speak my two cents for a second i think i think that hip-hop artists in canada need to work together you know we're not that many people and and if we're if we're starting quarrels between each other in such a small market and we're trying to appeal to a global market it just seems like everyone's so pocketed now and it's so my click against your click and my movement versus your movement but i think i think everyone should just really you know settle down and, and all work together because canadian hip hop artists have it bad as it is you know it's it's hard to get hard to break anywhere hard to break out of this country i you know Besides Cardinal and, and Maestro at different points, who who's really broken out of this country? And I think we got some serious talent. And uh, yeah, that's my little political uh, <laughs> insider's piece. <laughs> This year I got on my Grizzly, I started uh, doing, uh, I did a mixtape at, at the beginning of the year called Get Up, which was kind of like a, maybe a reflection of what I do in my shows a bit more, but production wise, for the last year and a half I've been working on uh, the new Buck 65 album, which is now called Situation, and uh, that was something that me and him collaborated on when he was living in France, I'd send him beats and he'd write to them and send me back demos, and then it was something that kind of started really casually, but then uh, we really liked what we had, so we decided we were going to go all out and make a whole album. And then he decided to take it to the next level, make it his next major full-length release. So that was a really good uh, opportunity for me, and I've been working for it on it for a long time. And uh, finally, here in Hippo Sonic, at Van in Vancouver, uh, it's coming together, and I'm, I'm really proud of what I've done, and I can't wait for everyone to hear it. Cause Bassett got some beats on there, man. <laughs> you can check me out online. A lot of people know me from, uh, you know, my, my mullet wig on YouTube and stuff like that, doing the Justin Timberlake routine. But you can check me out at my website, scratchbastard.com. That's S-K-R-A-T-C-H-B-A-S-T-I-D.com. I just put up a new store where you can pick up the Get Up Mix and also this another mix that Buck and I did together. And some t-shirts and some old mixes. I got some fun for the whole family, you know what I mean? So uh, come check it out. And, uh, you know, make sure you check me out if I'm in your city. I never do a dull show, you know. Word. Thank you.